What's going on everybody? This is Ultima Device Vids, and today in this video we're going to be checking out 10 iOS 14 features. All the features that we're going to be talking about in this video in addition to video timestamps for each feature can be found in the description down below iOS 14 now allows you to add widgets directly to your home screen. There's numerous widgets for various applications, and they come in numerous different sizes. And there's a few ways to add widgets to your home screen, one of which being to place your device into wiggle mode and select the plus in the upper left-hand side of the screen, and then choose your widget, and then you can determine which size you want to use, and then select Add Widget, and it will place it right on your home screen, like so. App Library allows you to access any application on your device through a new menu that can be accessed at the very end of your home screen. You're able to access suggested applications, recently downloaded apps, in addition to a whole host of pre-categorized sections like utilities, social, etc. Of course, you could easily launch any application directly from here, and there's also folders created inside of these categorizations for easy access as well. And another very useful feature of the App Library is the ability to get an alphabetical list of all the applications on your device. If you go to the search bar at the top of App Library, you could scrub through with the alphabet on the right side and again have the ability to look at all your applications alphabetically directly from this list and of course you also have the ability to search for applications at the top if you want to do that as well iOS 14 now allows you to hide individual home screen pages from your device. To do this, place your device into wiggle mode and then select the page dots at the bottom of the screen. And from here, you can enable and disable specific pages. If you only leave a few home screen pages visible or maybe even just one home screen page visible, that works particularly well with App Library because it allows you to get rid of those cluttered home screen pages but still have the ability to access any app on your device easily from the App Library iOS 14 now brings picture-in-picture -picture video to the iPhone, so you can now watch a video on your device while you're multitasking going into other applications, and of course, you can move this window to anywhere on your screen. You could tap on it to get play pause controls and the ability to go back or forward 15 seconds. You could also close the video by selecting the X or go back to the application that the video is from by selecting the button in the upper right-hand corner. You could also dock the video on the side of the screen if you just want to listen to the audio, if you want to do that as well iOS 14 introduces a new incoming call interface that doesn't obstruct the entire screen. So you can still interact with your device while a call is coming in. And you could, of course, decline the call or pick up the call without your content being obstructed. Now, of course, if you want the full screen display, all you have to do is just swipe down like that iOS 14 introduces a new Siri UI that won't block everything that's on your screen. As you can see, the interface is different. It's definitely much more subtle. Also, when you get a response from Siri, it will appear at the top of the screen similar to a beta notification rather than, again, appearing in the middle of the display. In iOS 14, you can now pin any conversation to the top of the Messages app. Just swipe to the right on any conversation and select the pin button, or you could just swipe all the way for a quick way to pin conversations. And of course, these will now appear at the very top of the Messages app for easy access just like that. And I wanted to point out a few nice details for pinned conversations. As you can see, when someone's typing to you from a conversation that you have pinned, you can see you get that nice dot, dot, dot animation. And of course, when the message arrives, you also get another nice animation, as you can see right there. Within iMessage group chats in iOS 14, you're now able to respond to individual people within a conversation. Just tap and hold on a message and select reply, and again, you can respond to an individual person. So after you do this, you're able to view the conversation just between you and that person, in addition to being able to view that conversation within the context of the group as well. And another welcome change to iMessage group chats in iOS 14 is the ability to set a picture or an emoji as the image for your group chat. To do so, open up a group chat, select the info button and then tap change name or photo and you could select what you want to use from here all right guys that wraps it up for this video thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace out